So tell us a little bit about your character from Husbands. I believe it's Angry Mom. <laughs> well, we took all the all the, the like weird, like charismatic, religious, anti-gay. Like we took all of that, combined it into a ball of like weird suburbia, and that's what I played on on Husbands. A very unhappy, screaming woman, all about uh, all about not wanting these guys to get married. Um, <laughs> It was so much fun to be such a weirdo bitch. <laughs> so a lot of people know you, obviously, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I know for me, my the episode where your character Tara is is such a great character um, and was such an important character. But for me, the episode that really like I was amazed by was, of course, the musical episode. I love the musical; is my favorite. You're such an amazing singer. Well, that's oh, what I want to. Is, is that your favorite episode? Yeah. That's my favorite episode. I mean, come on. To get to do a musical, first of all, to get to do a Buffy musical, come on. Um, sing with, you know, Anthony Stewart Head, who is just like, I don't know, before Tony. I, I just, when I saw that Tony and I got to do a duet, I was like, ah! I was so excited. But I do have to say, I think I got the best song. Sorry, boys. Sorry, James and Tony. <laughs> Well, I totally agree. So, you know, we see you at a lot of conventions. You are definitely a geek. Oh, totally. We're among friends here. So let me just, let me get the rundown real quick, okay? What, like, comic books are you into right now? Oh, God. Um, let's see. Well, I always go back to Blankets. That is one of my perennial favorites. I just, I feel like that is such a good entry point for people that are interested in graphic novels that, uh... It sort of splits the difference between, you know, being a comic, but also having this very, you know, almost YA sort of like entree. Do you know what I mean? Like into this world that is that is, you know, really special and wonderful. And I think it's a it's a good first book for people who are interested in, in this world but aren't quite sure. I love all the Harley Quinn stuff. I love the Killing Joke, right? Oh, I just that could be Harley Quinn, right? I do. I love her. I just there's something about her that just draws me in every time. Uh, I love Tony Millionaire, Sock Monkey. I'm a big I'm a big fan of the Alan Moore stuff, Promethea. You know, um, but his stuff is just really smart and interesting. On top of that, and I think he, you know, the, the sexualization of some of the stuff is is I think makes it in some ways more more interesting to women in a way that a lot of a lot of stuff is sort of. Especially the superhero stuff doesn't really give women an, an entry point, right. but Alan Moore does, and I think it's because his women are interesting. They're real people. They're sexualized, but not in like a dirty, disgusting way, but in like an owning sexuality sort of way. And some of it is kind of dirty and naughty and, and sexualized too. There's both. Um, let's see who else. Um, I mean, Terry Moore, obviously, *Strangers in Paradise*. Yeah. Those books are phenomenal, and the way he draws women. Women with real curves, real... Bo- I'm sorry, but I have breasts and hips, and I want to see a book that shows that. You know, not in a disgusting Barbie fall over kind of way, if she were real, but in a, in a like, reality of, of what a woman is, you know? Some women are tiny, some women have really big boobs. It's just, we're, we run the gamut. So, now, your character Tara was really important, not only because, um, you know, of the, the lesbian aspect, you know, and there was, of course, you and Willow, uh, very important, very progressive for the time. What I want to know is, do you have more fans coming up to you um, that are lesbians saying that that meant a lot to you, or Wiccans that say you meant a lot to you? <laughs> I get more LGBTQ sort of uh, comments, but definitely there are a lot of Wiccans that are very, like, thank you for for what you and Joss and, and Allison did for us. Like, you opened this door and you made it okay. You know, you're in you're mainstream media and you're saying, I'm a Wiccan. Like, I, somebody yesterday came over and was like, thank you for the Wiccan stuff. And I was expecting her to be like, something else. But no, it was the Wiccan stuff and it's awesome. And I really need to know, have you ever tried to dabble in the dark arts? Um, not so much the dark arts, but uh, I definitely... I'm, I'm writing a new series of books for Penguin called, uh, well, the first book's going to be called The Witches of Echo Park. Um, yeah. And so I've been doing a lot of research. And it's something that I was always interested in. Like, I read The Spiral Dance by Starhawk. And I've just been sort of, like, embracing that world. So. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're so welcome.